Hi friends, educational institutions, especially schools, needs a very easy to access website with all sort of information describing about the schools, academics and all such things that can be easily accessible on the web for students and even for parents. In this video we are going to create a wonderful website for schools and I am happy to record this video as I am covering almost all great WordPress theme on this channel for education sector. In this video for this website we are going to use a very suitable WordPress theme called Ecole. Ecole is an education and a school WordPress theme and it is available on the themeforest.net and it is good thing that uh, the deal is going on and the price is very uh, reduced for the time being and it is soon going to be back on the regular price but yes you can grab this opportunity theme has been developed by CMS masters and if you want to create a wonderful website like this for your schools or you are creating a website for your school client or educational institute client so this is going to be a very suitable choice in the regard of theme and after watching this complete video you will be able to understand the complete features and functionalities that is available in the theme and also you will be able to create a perfect website like this for your schools or educational institution let us proceed towards installation so that we may overview the complete features and functionality so I must tell you something more about the theme first. So Ecole is an educational and WordPress theme as I told you and it has been developed by CMS Masters and they are of course Power Elite authors. The theme actually came into existence in 2020 and the regular updates for this theme is also being done time to time. Theme is well compatible with the latest version of WordPress, WordPress 6.0 is on date and it is well documented and it has all the features that you need for a fully functional education website and uh, on the top it is full it has a full functional LMS that is uh, managed by the learn press plugin so we will preview all these options inside the installation let us proceed for installation and for installing a theme or making a website you need a domain name and a hosting if you have yet not taken the hosting you may follow the link given in the description of this video to get a wordpress optimized hosting first of all it is very important to have a very suitable hosting plan and i am assuming in this video that you have already taken a domain name and hosting and you have already installed the wordpress core so we have to start from here this screen is generally ignored in all installation before we start our installation we have to be on this screen this is under tools and site health screen and it is simply saying the site health and it is saying great job everything is running smoothly here it is important to check all the requirements of hosting before you start any any installation of theme okay so this is a fresh installation of WordPress on the same hosting plan that you can avail by following the link video description link and yes it is running the latest version of WordPress that is 6.0.2 with default 2022 WordPress theme as on date this is being the latest version and I'll also show you the theme pack in the theme pack you are going to get the demo content docs licensing the main theme file and the child theme file and one readme text file so of course we are going to use this main installable theme file pack and this is only the installable theme file pack uh, you need to upload only this since we are having a hosting plan having all the features like cpanels and file manager access and everything is available here you can control your complete hosting and complete website through this panel this is cpanel like multi php ini editor and php managers and wordpress manager by softaculous you can easily install the wordpress in few clicks and in a very simple manner 
so this is very important to have a c vinyl manage hosting plant that i of course uh, this is my recommendation only however you can choose any hosting plan and you can follow the link uh, of wp themes website click on the hosting tab and you can explore the hosting options what you want to have to proceed with the installation we have to be in the appearance section of wordpress and this is the core installation go to the themes under appearance and by default 2022 wordpress theme is here we can simply click on add new upload theme choose file and we have to choose uh, the equal.zip file here for uploading but since we are having direct access on our server we can directly upload the theme and the wp content themes folder it is going to be more easy for me and i want to show you the theme file size in fact what is the theme file size here it is showing 11.5 mb and upon upload it is showing 10.98 mb it is very moderate size and i have seen most of the well optimized theme uh, remains below 15 mb in size okay so it is 10.98 and the progress bar is now turned green with 100 percent in just few seconds we can come back and extract the uploaded file upon extraction we will get this a call folder in which we have all the components of themes folders and files so we can simply delete this chip one it is just consuming the server space and as i told you you can use this wordpress interface for uploading the theme as well both will bring same result uh, if you are using this method you don't need to extract the file the theme will directly go into wp content themes folder and it will be extracted so you can simply activate the theme let us come back to the themes screen and we have now a call as another theme option along with the default theme let us check the details this is a call version 1.0.7 as on date this is being the latest version and when you are ordering the theme by following the link given in the description you might be getting an updated version but the theme features and the installation process basic customization will remain almost same let us activate the theme and it is being activated upon activation we got landed on this theme general setting page and it is showing we need to install multiple plugins first of all to get the complete features of the theme let us proceed with begin installing plugins and let us see what is here and i believe uh, this theme is using multiple plugins yes it is 19 so personally i uh, always recommend to use minimum number of plugins that is actually required for your website uh, and you can choose what function actually you want to have at your website because if you are loading your installation with multiple plugins it may be a reason for slow loading of your website so don't keep any huge less plugin however the theme developer has provided all these plugins and uh, all these plugins are bringing some of some or many features with that but yes uh, uh, i can see and the five plugins are marked as required and it has been developed by the cms master itself and rest plugins are here so uh, importer is here uh, donations functions custom fonts content composer and mega menu so these are required plugins and rest plugins like contact form 7 is here the revolution slider is here for hero images e-commerce so you can use this theme for e-commerce activities as well uh, visit importer and exporter land as i said this is a complete uh, learn press supported i mean lms supported theme so you can use mm, this theme for learning management system as well so learn press and its associates plugins are here so we need to install these plugins and i am choosing to install all plugins because i need to show all the features that is available with the theme and the number of plugins we need to install in this case is 19 so it is a big number so just be as make sure what features you want to have at your website and ultimately so once you 
I have activated and installed and activated the theme you can export the features and later you can decide what actually you want to use at your website and uh, consequently you can deactivate the plugins and delete the plugins that you know you are not going to use okay that is fine so i'm choosing to install all plugins because i'm just demonstrating all the features and i wish to install all plugins in one go if it works for me however i'm not so confident about this so i'm not hiding anything in my video so everything is going on the screen what i am following you may also follow the same and i have clicked on install choosing install option and click on apply and i have selected all the plugins for installation and yes it is great all 19 plugins got installed within few seconds only and this is the beauty of hosting that we are using and also providing you so it is great thing and we successfully installed all 19 plugins in just few seconds yes so let us proceed further for activating the installed plugins it is okay so we can again activate all these plugins in a single click since we have installed it properly so uh, let us activate all 19 plugins okay so it may take for the few seconds because 19 is a good number in terms of plugins for a website so let us see how much time it takes actually okay so it again got completed in around 15 seconds yes simply click on the dashboard and we may need further okay so wp seo and learn place and all so it is all welcome pages so we can again come back to the dashboard so we got many new options like learn place and mail poet cookie yes and okay so there are many plugins in fact so i'm going to show you all these tabs what these tabs are bringing at our website what features we can control through these tabs of course but yes first of all we need to complete our installation along with the demo content to make a demo website like any of this this is going to be our target website okay to import the demo content i can see an option and it is it is okay so import dom demo content option is uh, clearly here and we can click on this and okay so we have multiple options here like we have online school main public school and private school art school okay so we can export these options first of all which we want to have at our website uh, this is so i must show you the layouts available with the theme so i just somehow i skipped to show you in the beginning of this video so we can check uh, how this layout looks like and this is a uh, very first layout that is that we can consider the default one this is primary school and another is private school okay so this is the second option i mean you can say the second pre-installed oh, okay so pre-designed template is here this is the third one fourth this is for art school uh, yes it is also very good and online school this is for online school okay great so what i am choosing i am choosing the very first one and considering it the default one and it is uh, primary school okay great so let us proceed towards installation and you can select any of these layouts that you need for your project so i am choosing the primary school primary uh, okay that is private or primary primary is here and okay so it is i believe it is main one so i am choosing the main let us see uh, so by default all the options are already checked uh, 
and since we are uh, installing the theme very first time i mean this is a press installation so we need all the content like uh, post pages images category and post type so and we also need to upload attachments import widgets theme settings and sliders as well so by default all is checked and we just need to simply click on the import button and it has been clicked now okay so uh, don't get confused a spinner is moving in the tab and you have to wait until this spinner stops and you get any message on the screen so we are not getting any update i mean any progress status on this screen but yet but yes a spinner is moving on so we can consider it is going on but yes we can really check what is going behind the demo import screen and yes uh, open the media library in another tab and it may give us some idea okay so i can see uh, some images are here and again uh, some images are not available only we are getting the placeholder images but it is absolutely fine let us see what happens and uh, how we are okay so it is increasing gradually and in just few seconds we have received 48 media items and we have to wait until this spinner is going on and moving on but yes i must tell you don't disturb this process and uh, you have to wait on this screen patiently without refreshing this is screen or hitting the back button meanwhile you can explore the options and what you have selected for your uh, demo website so that you may start editing and what pages you are going to receive in this website it is really good and we have to wait so please do not reload or navigate away from this page Proce procedure is not finished yet so i believe we will get some message on this screen only let us wait and the message change into demo content already imported so this is the message that we got around after four or five minutes as i can calculate and if we check uh, the media tab it we have received 18 a 89 media items and most of the vector images are here and rest of images are like placeholder but yes ultimately we can check our website if it is completely here okay so yes it is great and as i said some images that is not actually required so some images are not provided but yes the website is complete in all respect it is great so don't think you have not received the complete content because placeholder images are here all the things are here and we have received uh, the website the primary school is here and we have imported only one and uh, demo of course we, you need to import only one dem demo content and we can check in a page this is our school page and this is cookie information it is also very good so it is coming from a very wonderful plugin called cookie information so it is uh, mandatory for some of the countries cookie yes so this is the plugin that we are using okay so it is great plugin and yes the website is also complete in all respect we can check the admission page this is very important page for any school or educational institution this is the respective page and links okay and if we talk about the timetable yes it is also a very good feature okay so it is really a very wonderful feature and it is going to be a interactive add-on feature on your website because timetable is very important for a school website and it is well available here so this is good and if we are talking about a school or educational institution academic is the main 
page and it is also available so we can conclude uh, we got this wonderful website and the installation process was really smooth and now we can decide to take this theme and of course we can make a uh, an amazing website using this theme now I am going to take you on the dashboard to show you what we got in this installation I will show you all options very quickly so that you may understand what actually you can do and how you can actually customize your website so learn places here for managing the courses and it is basically for the option if we are choosing the online online school options and if you are willing to create an LMS website the learn place is well available and you can control the courses lessons quizzes questions and again I am repeating if you are not using uh, the theme for online courses just disable deactivate the learn press and its associate plugins from the plugin section and I will show you again but I have already shown you in this video only if you are not using the LMS feature I mean all you are not using the theme for online uh, learning management system so you can deactivate the set of learn press plugins and it is here learn place learn place course review course wish list and mm, prerequisite of course so these are four plugins which you can deactivate and delete and you can further ignore the message that this theme needs uh, such plugins so you don't need these plugins if you are not using this theme for LMS okay and coming back to the next events are ag ag another section that you can handle and you can uh, edit the event options through here and it is very simple yes so uh, it is and i must tell you uh, this theme uses its own com content composer i mean this is the content composer and default editor so you can toggle between the content composer and all and you can easily edit the content without any doubt and, and this is the event section through which you can ca control the events and activities at your school uh, next uh, which next tab which is additional here i am only showing the this is a mail poet and it is for handling the mail subscriptions okay and cookie yes is here so you can control the cookie information here and it is a very good plugin and it is of course for showing the cookie information at your website and it is mandatory for some countries so if uh, you wish to show this information you can keep it active and so you need to create an account create a free account and connect to cookie yes after connecting you can manage all your setting from web app and access advanced features cookie scanner discover cookie site and, log, and cookie log okay okay uh, okay so that is fine so even we can run this cookie information without creating this uh, account so you can keep it active banner status that is available on the website as we seen okay sorry so it is on the website and i'll show you this is the banner status this is cookie setting and all okay so mm, let us move towards next cookie we have seen projects okay so projects is also a new thing and profile similarly you can edit all the contents and the relevant section i don't need to show you all these things yeah, of course timetable is important so uh, you can handle the timetables from here and like mathematics timetable you can simply edit the mathematics and you can add as much as timetable you want so it is very simple and i must tell you one thing if you are not using any page any section just delete those pages that you are not using it is very important from the seo perspectives so this is a timetable for mathematics let us for example and it is very clear uh, theme options are here 
and we can add timetable like Wednesday and we can further edit the information or whatever you, you we want so like Wednesday is click and Wednesday is here start time in time so it is all good and background color we can select so these are options you have to explore and the timetable will be certainly updated and you can configure where it to display it okay so events columns add columns so if this is for event section sorry it is not a timetable okay so events as you said you can control the rest of things are as common as in wordpress and i can see this yoast seo is also here slider revolution so i will show you uh, the slider revolution as well because uh, the main hero image is to be controlled from here while you are customizing so hero uh, home one is here and when we are editing the website i mean the customizing the website we have to control the hero like this image this image of hero section can be edited from this slider so uh, you have to place this image i can show you uh, how you can actually do this this is the image and uh, let us say for example we have selected this and if this image is available save image edge and you can simply use this image i'm just showing you for example you have to use your own image of course and this is the slider and and just click on the image part and media library upload file uh, i'm showing you how you can easily edit the contents actually it is so simple but yes you need to be very careful so now image is here optimize size so it is important for the speed so you have to optimize all the images and that you are using in the revolution slider and finally click on save and the image will be displayed on your website let us refresh it yes it is here it is it was so simple to edit so mm, editing on, on the website and customizing the website is really very cool and you can do it easily so slider i have shown you and of course now uh, uh, import demo content we have already used and finally i am going to show you the theme panel i mean the basic settings of theme this is general options and you have to control these things like theme layout logo type image header you can always control and header height middle height and also things content like layout type by default and footer you can handle so these are some simple uh, settings that is available again you have options like fonts you can control the complete fonts of uh, the areas of your website colors is completely in your control you can again uh, set the colors for headers navigation header top footer custom and all uh elements like i'll show you what elements are here like sidebar social icons light box site map for not four and custom codes single post this is for blogging section port export and custom fonts so these are very simple options that is available for handling the website and finally i am going to show you how to edit the page contents as i said uh, this theme uses its own customizer and simply open the page that you want to edit and click on edit page okay so this is the editor and you can use the default editor and visual content composer but yes you have to use the visual com content composer and don't try to edit with the default editor it is not going to be good for you slider we have already seen how you we can edit the slider uh, from the slider revolution rich components can be edited from here simply click on the pencil icon that you want to edit and you can edit the text and images but yes you have to be very careful while you are placing the text and image content for text you have to use same length of text that has been used in the demo content almost same and 
for images you have to maintain the dimension to maintain the integrity of design integrity of website it is really very important and rest things are very common so just in case if you are uh, not so convenient with the code like things so what you can do if you can you are editing any code elements code like elements uh, this is of course no code or low code type thing uh, so if you are editing and uh, you can simply and uh, take a backup like copy this all keep it or uh, save on a notepad and start editing accordingly i believe uh, these all things are very simple and you will be able to handle these all elements at your own and you can simply edit the content the section that you not want you can simply remove so uh, this is the thing that i have shown you about this e call wordpress theme and it is of course a complete education wordpress theme and you might have certain question regarding this theme and customization so we are well available here for you for any support that you need for installation of this e call wordpress theme or making your website up and live so we can also configure your hosting just follow the link given in the description of this video take a hosting plan and we are uh, of course available for completing completing your hosting configuration and theme installation so let us create a wonderful education website using this e call wordpress theme and i am going to bring next and wonderful resource of wordpress for you in the next video i believe you are already a subscriber you if not don't miss to watch videos on this channel if you are anyhow connected to wordpress website i am really working hard for bringing very useful resources for your wordpress website thanks for watching keep building thank you